A very good evening and thank you all for joining us on this Friday edition of Friday Briefing. My name is Joy Doreen Bira and I am sitting in for Betty Kello who has taken a bit of a, a breather uh, so she can rejuvenate. And well, guess who we have in the studio with us this evening? His handsomeness, Nico Diambo. <laughs> <laughs> That's also in my birth certificate, by the way. Is it? No, I've just made that up. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yes. You know, it's really long <laughs> since we had a male dreadlocked anchor on the show today. Oh, uh, this is the first time for everything. Wow. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. Well, Nico Diambo has for a long time been doing radio. Now he joins us on TV. Yes. Briefly, though. Yeah? Came as a surprise. So, yeah, let's do this. How long have you been doing radio? Ten and a half years. Okay. All right, ten and a half years. Tonight he's going to be joining us as a guest anchor, and so we're going to know a whole lot about him, get to know all the history, how he started, where he's gotten to where he is today. But also on the show, we've got Willis the Wordmaster, who is going to be telling us about those words that we do not know how to pronounce, and also how best we can improve on our language, and that's going to be on Mind Your Language. But first, let's take a look at the highlights. Police launch investigations into the killings of Baringo MCA Thomas Minito and the three children of the Kapsuya MCA. That I have quit Jubilee Party to be an independent candidate. Peter Kenneth now goes it alone. And Mwangiwa area's nomination is cancelled and fresh primaries ordered in the Jubilee Moranga governor's race. <laughs> the Democratic Party becomes the latest political party to endorse President Kenyatta's re-election. Good evening and welcome. The police are investigating the killing of three children of Kapsioya ward aspirant James Retemo. And Elvis Kuzge now reports that the police have already arrested one suspect. Nyumbani kwa James Retemo babi wa toto hao wali opoko nyauhai bila kosa. Kilio cha msiba huo uliwacha wengi na maswali bila majibu. Viti hivi vitatu vinashiri. Well, we do apologize for that, but we will be revisiting that story, which is our top story here on Friday Briefing. But former Gatanga Member of Parliament and Nairobi's gubernatorial aspirant, Peter Kenneth, who lost in the Jubilee primaries, now says he has ditched the party and is ready to go it alone. Kenneth says he will now vie as an independent candidate. He is, however, quick to point out that he still supports President Uhuru Kenyatta's re-election. It's been a while since we last encountered with the media. It's a silence that was followed by a big announcement. And just three weeks after the Jubilee nominations, Peter Kenneth, commonly referred to as PK, is now back, back into the hotly contested Nairobi's gubernatorial race. Despite all that, and despite the fact that I have quit Jubilee Party to be an independent candidate, in the 8th of August elections for Nairobi governorship position, I will continue to offer my support to the president. It's an announcement that has now signaled a fresh start for Kenneth's gubernatorial ambition, flanked by his supporters, probably among the 60,000 or so who voted for him during the party primaries that he termed as shambolic. Circular voting, non-voters voting, stuffing of the ballot, and we believe that the election was actually stolen. The former Gatanga member of parliament and a former presidential candidate is already sounding a warning to his main competitors, Dr. Ivan Skidero, as well as his immediate rival for the Jubilee ticket, turned his political nemesis, Mike Mbovisonko. We must continue to reject the lies that are being peddled. Lies that we have seen in the last couple of weeks lies that we have seen in the last one week 
that Nairobi can survive with a governor who is a figurehead. Nairobi cannot. It's the single largest economic center of our country. It requires a good manager. He also had a word for those he claims were behind his failure within Jubilee's top brass. His announcement is definitely going to throw a spanner into Nairobi County politics. To be specific, the gubernatorial contest is something the political observers are going to mull over and think what it exactly means for the Nairobi's contest. But for now, Peter Kenneth himself has announced that he's going to make clear who his running mate will be anytime from Monday next week. Yusuf Ibrahim, Friday Briefing, Nairobi. Thanks, Yusuf. And that story leads us to a big question where we're asking, do you support Peter Kennett's re-entry into the Nairobi governor's race? Do you support Peter Kennett's re-entry into the Nairobi governor's race? Do let us know what you think. You can reach us online, that is on Twitter, using the hashtag Friday Briefing, or you can use the SMS number 22155 and let us know what you think about Peter Kennett's re-entry into the Nairobi governor's race. And away from that, let's now move to a top story or a, one of our other top stories where the family of a KDF soldier who was captured on a clip posted on social media pleading to the Kenyan government to rescue him and others from the Al-Shabaab is now asking the government to bring back their son. Speaking at their home in Vihiga County, the family asked the government to open negotiations with the group in order to secure the release of the Kenyan soldiers being held by Al-Shabaab. Jacqueline Anindo Mkewe Muhasiriwa nyumbani kwao katika kijiji cha Vijena katika kaunti ya Vihiga. Video hiyo bila shaka imempa fueni. Mimi niko na furaha. All right, and uh, we do apologize once again for that, but would now like to revisit a very top story where four people have been arrested over the killing of the late MCA for Churo uh, Amaya. The body of Thomas Minito was found uh, this morning in El Dono Rabuk in Baringo County. <laughs> Our arrival at the late Minito's home was faced by hostility as an irate crowd pelted stones at our vehicle. <laughs> Moments later, a neighbor's home was up in flames. While residents of Tiati constituency were slowly forgetting the murder of two politicians, Pepe Kitamba, and Loya Marok Ward, member of county assembly Cherite Kibet in Mariga two months ago. Yet another sad day has hit residents of Tiati. Before he met his death, Thomas Minito was last seen at a restaurant with a female companion in Cabernet before four men picked him up saying they were taking him for questioning at the Cabernet police headquarters. Initial investigations indicate that Minito's phone was last traced to Koreama shopping center, only for his lifeless body to be found in Noldonio Sabuk, Kiambu County. Na mimi pamoja na watu yote tuko tabu, wakubwa tumemalizwa yuti, amemalizwa yuti, pepe ameja kuva, kipe ameja kuva. Tukiwa, tukiwa kama wa mama, tuko na uchungu sana. Tumiasa watoto ambayi, kila wakati wana uawa. Tujua, tuna, tu, tu, tuko tukisa watoto ambayi, watakuwa kiuliwa na wengine, tuna tujui, wameuliwa na njiyakani. Sisi kama professionals, file fiongosi wetu wana uawa, tunasema hata sisi, hatuna usalama. Hata, wa, hata wanabiashara, tunasema awana usalama. To some quarters, the death of Thomas Minito may just seem as a normal death. However, to the people of Churo Amaya, there is more to what meets the eye. They feel that they are vocal and dependable leaders are now being targeted, begging the question, by who? Joseph Makilap is the member for County Assembly for Barres Award in Baringo. 
and a colleague to the late Minito, who was the deputy minority leader and the vice chair of the budget committee. To those who mingled with Minito, popularly known as Long Seal, which in Pokot means a person with short hands, he was a brave leader who never looked back. There was a time Minito he was the first person to introduce a motion to impeach the Governor Cheboy. And uh, it took him about uh, a week. He actually took my intervention. This is a man who listens to me. He took my intervention for Minito to withdraw the, the motion. Minito in March this year was charged with incitement and was released on a 1.5 million bond with security organs on his radar over attacks in ranches in Laikipia. The recent one being the Laikipia Nature Conservancy where the ranch owner Cookie Galman was shot and injured. Minito had been vocal over the building of an access road from Churo through Laikipia Nature Conservancy, an issue that made him ruffle shoulders with the powerful forces in government. Victor Gale, KTN News, Baringo County. All right, thanks a lot, Victor. And would like to review our Twitter poll question where we were asking, do you support Peter Kenneth's re-entry into Nairobi governor's race? Uh, do you support Peter Kenneth's re-entry into the Nairobi governor's race? Do let us know what you think. In fact, I just have a few tweets here that I could go through. Sylvester, or, uh, you're saying PK is belittling and deriding himself. He shouldn't, or he should have vied for presidency, in August will be humiliating and Joffre and Zia you're saying I don't because those rejected those who rejected him during the primaries will also reject him he should accept defeat those some of your views keep them coming through use the hashtag Friday briefing or the SMS number 22155 let's take a short break we'll be back with more news don't go too far